All right, so this is the bye week. Um, we're just going to go through the bye week. We're going to do all this stuff. I think I might try and make a trade, so this is probably going to be a much shorter episode. Um, I want to pick up a corner. I know I want to develop the cornerbacks on this team, but it's just not going well right now. You could just tell how frustrated I'm getting by... We just want a guy who can clamp up in man-to-man -man defense. Um, I don't know how good of a corner I'm going to be looking for, but I'm willing to draft, or I'm willing to get one in the 80s. I want a solid cornerback one that we can just rely on. So weekly weekly awards, Daniel Hunter, five tackles, four sacks, force fumble, and a touchdown. Unbelievable numbers. Mitch Trubisky somehow got it even though he's terrible. But yeah, Daniel Hunter literally didn't let us lose that game. So we can thank him for our best best defensive player. Kirk Cousins on the bye week. Any plans for the bye week? You know what? We had stressful last two games. So let's just let's just rest. Let's re regroup. Plus one morale boost. Let's regroup. Let's come back stronger. And we, we have a big game week eight against the Packers. Let's see who had some upgrades from last week plus this week right here. Upgrade players. Josh Metellus got an upgrade. We'll do run support. He's up to a 67. Irv Smith got one. Do vertical threat. He's up to a 78. And also I'm going to show the stats at this point through the year. Kenny Willekes, we're going to do... Let's do run stopper, I guess. DJ Wanham. We'll do speed rusher for Wanham. And he didn't get an upgrade at all. Great. Alright, let's just look at the stats for all of our players. At this point, Kirk Cousins has 1,300 yards, which is not that much, but he's not not that far behind, I guess. 13 touchdowns, 10 picks. It's been ugly passing the ball, to be honest. But you know, we are we are we are five and one, which we can't sleep on. Rushing, Dalvin Cook. 597 yards, 8 touchdowns through 6 weeks. In the NFL, he is leading not by much by by Zeke and Alvin Kamara. But he he has 8 touchdowns, which is pretty far and away the most in the league. And then running after him, Madison has 47 47 yards and uh Peterson has 14. Receiving Adam Thielen is leading the league or leading the team in receiving. Sorry, with 406 cat, 406 yards, six touchdowns. And second is Jefferson, with about 300 yards, two touchdowns. Irv Smith and Delvin Cook are about even in yards, but Irv has two touchdowns. It's pretty uh, pretty well spread because BC gets involved, Rudolph gets involved. I'm just curious. Julio's leading it, leading the league. Beasley's second. Albert Wilson. Diggs is up there. Th All right, so Thielen's not that far behind. He's about 150 yards behind, so he's probably gonna get a thousand yards. Jefferson will probably be about 800. But yeah. Defense. Eric Kendricks is leading the team in tackles. I play shorter quarters, so it's gonna be very behind whoever's actually in first. But that's okay. Sacks, Daniel Hunter has nine sacks, which is first behind Gerald McCoy and Marcus Golden. Very cool to see that. Tackle for losses, Yannick Ngakwe, four tackles for loss, two sacks. Cool. Interceptions, Anthony Harris has two, Jeff Gladney has two, Anthony Barr has one. Sweet. Pass deflections. Eric Kendricks has four. Gladney has two. Barr has two. He has two. Hughes has two. So, yeah. 
That's where we're at right now. Let's just do some scouting. I know our corners are so young. Like, I don't want to trade for... Ugh. Kevin Farr looks pretty good. Devin Wimbley. Play wreck. Jerry Winston. All right. So the corners are looking decent, I guess. Um, let's see if there's anybody on the trade block. Any corners on the trade block? Emmanuel Mosley. Akella Witherspoon. It's not really what I'm looking for. I want to look for like a veteran who we can pick up. But at the same time, the corner doesn't... You know what? Yeah. I'm just going to look. I'm not going to... I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on a trade, but I'm definitely going to look for one. Maybe I got like a keep to lead. So Patrick Peterson, there has been trade rumors for the last couple years about Patrick Peterson maybe getting traded. So maybe he's, he is 30. Um, he's an 88 overall. See if I can maybe give him like a mid-round pick for him. i got to be willing to give up one of... The, let's just... All right, I guess we can't. I guess we can't trade picks then. Really? That's why I actually can't trade picks. Is that... Oh, this game is so trash. Oh, you literally can't trade in this game, apparently. Patrick Peterson. Fucking fourth round pick. There we go. I don't know if... Not even close. They're probably insulted that I even... What about a third? I'd be willing to go up a third for Patrick Peterson. And it's not even close. Alright. Well, I don't really want to give up much for 30 overall corner or 30 year old corner sorry there was a couple more guys i was looking at another one is jason mccordy um he's 33 years old he's pretty good at man coverage so i'm gonna see if i can give give them like a mid-round pick for him and that, that is about halfway halfway filled what if i were to give they need a tight end what if i were to give them like tyler conklin oh, i guess you can't Oh my god, dude, this game is so fucking broken. Literally can't add him into the trade. Dude, this game is so broken. Why did I fucking buy this game, bro? I don't understand. You know they're never gonna fix it. How about a third round pick? So McCord it is close. McCordy is close. What about a third and a fourth? So it's pretty pretty dang close for Jason McCordy. What if I give up like two fourths and then you take Tyler Conklin? That's pre that pretty close as well. What else could they possibly need? A receiver? I'll give you a receiver. I'll give you fucking Tajay Sharp. How about that? I'll give you Tajay Sharp and a fourth round pick for McCordy. Tajay Sharp, two fourth round picks. And we have acquired Jason McCourty from the New England Patriots. A veteran corner who will be, hopefully, will be making plays for us. We give up two mid round picks. We, were, we had three fourth round picks. And Tajay Sharp literally has done, hasn't even seen the field at all this year. So, I feel like this helps both teams. Because the Patriots did have a lot of good corners. They didn't really need him. And obviously that's going to make Jason McCourty the cornerback one. Man-to-man -man corner. That's just what he looks like. First look at McCourty in purple. I like it. Um, and it gives our corners like some room to grow, I guess. It gives them, gives them a veteran to look after. So I think that's going to do it for the... Uh, trade not it's not even a trade deadline it's just a uh 
Just the bye week. So we make a pretty big trade. We get a nice corner cornerback one, and we're going to be well-rested for next week against the Green Bay Packers, which it's probably going to be a lot tougher this time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the trade.